All right, my thing is also helping with my peace of mind. Uh, as as I don't know, I, I I think I've illustrated to you guys. Uh, if you're on the Slack, I think I've definitely complained about my my lack of scheduling uh, ability uh, or the over scheduling that I've done. As you've seen, maybe multiple multiple guests on some of these shows here on Tuesday night because I told myself at the beginning of the year I'm going to schedule lots of people. We're going to have a lot of stuff going on. Um, and then, and then it got a little too heavy and then I need to keep up with things. And then I had all these meetings coming through and then I had a bunch of these emails for shoots and meetings and, and, and coffees that people wanted to have. And we just never lined up somewhere down the line. I, uh, came across, remember, you remember back in the day, uh, we talked about doodle. Uh, it was a scheduling app, and it just became a little less helpful, a little more cumbersome as it went, and I kind of fell out of it. Uh, this is called Vite, Vite.in, and that's V-Y-T-E dot in. And uh, it's pretty it's pretty nice. If I uh, Actually, if I can get, I should have logged in with Google here. Uh, but it's a pretty nice interface. Um, and, and again, it, it kind of presents itself as a bit of a desktop for you. If you go in here, like here's all the stuff that I've uh, thrown in here. You know, again, a couple of shoots. Um, a couple of people that we went on the awesome cast and awesome chat and the wrestling mayhem show coming up. I basically went through and said, okay, who have I been chasing for the last like three weeks, two weeks, one week, whatever the case is. And now it's here now. Now it's like, listen, I, I gave you this. I can go in, create an event. It's really intuitive. I can, uh, drop, you know, whatever email address in here. So I'm just going to, I don't even know who I am. I don't even know who this is. Uh, so uh, Mike here, random Mike person, is going to <laughs> uh, is going to hopefully load this page. Please fill this out. What is this? Um, meeting. There you go. Helps if I actually go through the steps. Um, but again, so you can go pick uh, uh, several dates that fit into your schedule. As you can see, my schedule is a little bit full here. Um, <laughs> but you look for those few gaps going on. And you can kind of see from the other things that I put in here, you see options. And, uh, and it's nice because it quasi fills your calendar with like the times you suggested. Because one thing I've done is put out, hey, can we meet Tuesday or Thursday at this time? And then I forget that I put those out for um, uh, possibilities, went back and told somebody else I was free because I didn't see it on my calendar. And then I get double booked or I get three Three, three people on the same podcast on a Tuesday night. That 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 makes it a little tough to handle, right? Um, this this lets you know, hey, there's a there's a question mark. This could become a thing. But the nice thing is, if you notice that and somebody hasn't responded, you can go back in and take away those options as you go ahead and schedule something else. Um, so it's really nice for that. So you can throw a couple of things in there. There, uh, you can actually throw in a couple of locations because again, then you get the back and forth where I'm like. Um, I'm in be I'm I'm in Beachview. Would you like to come out here, or I can come to you? I have no idea where you're coming from, and then I can throw a, a suggestion that's you know the coffee shop up the strip from me, or hey, someplace downtown, or someplace in East Liberty because I think you're on that side of town, right? And uh, and I can throw my preferred places in there, and then let them decide what 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 they want to do from there. Um, Really simple, nice interface. They get a nice, clean email. Kind of the same reason I've loved, um, and you guys who do meetings with me uh, know all about Sunrise and how I love sending my uh, 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 calendar information on there because it's a nice interface. You can accept the invite and everything uh, uh, for a meeting, coffee, podcast, whatever. Uh, so using those in conjunction works amazing. Uh, Vite.in, V-Y-T-E dot I-N. Um, and I definitely recommend checking it out. Oh, you can also put in, um, information for Skype calls too. Um, this was, this is a big thing for me. So, you know, when I have somebody on the podcast, it's like, Hey, do you want to come in studio or do you want to be remotely through Google Hangout? So I have a location, a quote location, uh, that's Google Hangout. And I put my email address for them, the friend. And then I also put the address of the studio and they can pick which one they want. So I, there's no more like kind of explaining and saying, which one do you want to do? Get somebody to say, hey, Tuesday's good, but they don't tell me which they're going to be. And then I don't realize until like Tuesday morning when I'm looking at the schedule and say, hey, are you in studio today? You know, that kind of thing. Uh, so I, 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 again, I'm early with it, but I think it's going to solve a lot of my organization problems uh, that I'm finding. I'm seeing a lot of opportunity here. So, um, yeah. Uh, are you guys using anything else for like kind of a scheduler like this? I, I actually, I enabled, let's see, uh, through, 
through Slack, <laughs> uh, they have a kind of a schedule assistant. Okay. And it is called uh, Mikan. Uh, M-E-E-K-A-N. And it's a Mikan uh, scheduling assistant. And it actually, it's horrible, but it sends me reminders for things that are on my Google Calendar that I also, because I use the same email address for my Google Calendar as I do in Slack. It's part of Slack. I don't know how they're connected. Okay. Magic. Uh, <laughs> but... It's nice for me because there are certain things on here I get uh, in 24 hours or no, I'm sorry. Uh, I'll get a reminder that later in the day I have something going on. Like in eight minutes I have this happening or uh, tomorrow you have this. And it's it's kind of like, oh, okay. It's a nice little, it's, it's just enough. Like I said, I have mine set like 10 minutes beforehand. It's just a nice little reminder for me to like, oh, wait a minute. I have this thing coming up. Okay, good. I'm here already. And then the other thing that I love is whenever you edit an event, on Google Calendar, it'll just say, you'll get a, a, an essentially an email that says so-and-so has updated the event, but it does not tell you what the original event looks like. Like if they change the, the time or the day or location of the event, it doesn't tell you that information. Mm. So then I'm like, oh shoot, what changed? Well, I thought it was always at one o'clock. So then you're kind of like second guessing yourself. The scheduling assistant will say, so-and-so has invited to change the event to blah, blah, blah from blah, blah, blah. And then it also tells me things that, like, for example, somebody's invited you to this. Your calendar shows you're busy at this time. So it's, it's just like a little, it's, like I said, it's just one more thing. But it's. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I think it's important, you know, again, on the mindfulness side, you know, you need to kind of offload things from your head. And if you're like, oh, I got to make sure I do this, this and this, which has led to problems for me because then it's dependent too much on my calendar. And my calendar has had bad information. And I show up at a Starbucks and wondering where the guy I'm supposed to shoot is because I was sent an improper calendar invite or or uh, um, I did not accept the invitation for something and didn't realize and saw it about 45 minutes before something and says, hey, is this a thing I should be at? <laughs> <laughs> and rushing to make sure I make that. So, so, so I'm trying to solve issues that are good issues to have because there is a lot happening in my business, busyness and, 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 and business. Um, my busy businessness, I guess. Uh, so, so uh, you know, again, uh, hopefully some of these tools will help take some of the pressure off. In a world when you can't afford a personal assistant, um, to be able to kind of take these pieces and form your own digital personal assistant is is, is kind of nice. And Siri can't do everything, let's be 